Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Today I'm taking a look at this advanced monitor calibration. So what this does is makes your monitor from this to this. So this is the Spider X Pro from Data Color. So this actually makes it very easy for you to calibrate your monitor. So let's get right into it and I'll show you guys uh, what this can do. So let's go ahead and open up the box. And the first thing you see here, it does have the URL to download the Spider X. So you kind of need that. So just follow that so you can download it. It doesn't come with a USB or anything like that. We've got this plastic here. So taking a look at the device itself, it might not look like anything here, but uh, once you open it here, we do have that lens in there as well. And at the top, we do have the light sensor as well. And uh, at the bottom here, we also have a, a tripod mount as well, because it does have this light sensor, so you can pretty much mount it at your desk, so it will keep track of that. So I have gone ahead and installed the SpiderX software here. Uh, so all you need to do right now is go ahead and open up the device itself here and just pull it. So you have to kind of pull this. So this will go at the back of your monitor. So obviously the spider axis will go in front of your monitor. But for now, let's just put this away because uh, we're going to go ahead and set things up. So it's asking me to go ahead and plug the USB in. So right now I'm going to go ahead and click next here. And now what it's asking me to do is enter my serial number that is actually found at the end of the box uh, when you open up the unit itself. So right now there's a few things I need to check off before I can proceed. So it's asking me, have you allowed your display to warm up for half an hour? So I'm gonna go ahead and check that off. Lighting conditions, have you checked that no intense light is falling directly on your display screen? Check that mark. And display controls, and here, it's asking so whenever you're calibrating an actual monitor from your desktop so right now i'm doing this uh, laptop here because i'm not really able to adjust like contrast things like that that much here and like the i'm obviously able to adjust brightness and everything here but on the like actual monitor you will have a little bit more settings to play around with and uh, spider x connections check mark that and we're gonna go ahead and click next so right now it is asking me if it's a desktop or a laptop. So I'm gonna go ahead and click laptop here, click next. And uh, right now it's uh, kind of recognizes what your manufacturer is of the display. So it's it knows it's a surface and a surface display. Click next here. And uh, what am I able to change here? So right now I'm able to change the brightness and that's checked off and just gonna go ahead and click next. And since it's talking about the brightness, I'm just going to make sure it is set to the highest at the moment. And it is set to the brightest. And here you have a few options. Um, so right now this is a wide LED. So it's pretty much asking you what kind of backlight is your monitor using. So right now this one is using the wide LED. Go next here. And I want to do a full calibration here. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. So right now you can see it's asking me to go ahead and place the spider checker in the middle there. So right now I'm just going to pull this and just so it stands nicely in the back. And looks like it's good. One thing I like to do is just put the display back a little bit so it stays like flat on the surface. And I'm just going to go ahead and click uh, next here and it's going to start doing its thing. So right now you can see it's going through all the colors. So right now it's all finished. So let's go ahead and click finish here. And it's just going to ask me to name the profile here. So let's just leave it at that and click save. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and next here. And uh, here comes the fun part where we can see the difference with the calibration and without the calibration. So right now, let's say I click uh, this image here. 
uh, the skin tones are good and everything. So right now we're looking at the calibrated view. So let's go ahead and switch. And definitely I can see a big difference here. Uh, the skin tones are definitely more green here without the calibrated view. So if I go ahead and switch back again, you can definitely see a big difference here. More reddish colors. You can definitely see this image pop out more. And uh, let's just switch back again. More green. And this one has a little more, like the skin tones are just right. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the color chart here as well. And uh, right now we're looking at the calibrated view. If I go ahead and click, you can definitely see the reddish here. The, these colors over here, they a big difference here. And they're kind of, especially the orange kind of pops out way more and the purple here. So if I switch back to the calibrated view, you can definitely see a big difference here. Let's go to these uh, colors here. And uh, right now we're looking at the uncalibrated view and calibrated, definitely more color. And uh, on the side here, the color chart, also you can see a big difference here when I click switch, for sure. And uh, lastly, just taking a look at this image here. So this is like outside and this is the uncalibrated view. And if I go ahead and switch to calibrate it, you can see that there's a little bit, even the contrast and everything, like the colors are more accurate right now. So if I go ahead and switch back, like it's more blending a little bit, like greenish tone on the uncalibrated view, but calibrated, it's like the right colors. It's like that greenish tone is like totally gone, which is very nice. And this is like the image you're intended to see pretty much. Alrighty, so the setup there, you saw it was a breeze. It's pretty much a step by step. And if you're gonna do a monitor calibration, uh, it will ask you like to put your contrast or your brightness. You can make those adjustments. It will tell you what to do at that point. But for my laptop, it's pretty much didn't ask any of those things. Uh, it just, you put this in the middle when it asks you to and it looks at all the colors and you can definitely see a big difference when it comes to skin tones. That's the one thing I noticed right away, skin tones, you can definitely see. With the uncalibrated view, it's like more greenish tone to the skin tones. But with this, it's just like more the way you're intended to see the image pretty much. And uh, the other thing is I did use the Spider Checker 24, which I'm going to be using on this video edit as well. So you can kind of see the colors I'm looking at because it's kind of hard to see what colors I'm looking at when the monitor is calibrated because probably yours is not calibrated. And uh, so you're not probably going to see what I'm seeing. But one thing is, uh, when I'm looking at the calibrated and without the calibration, definitely I can see a difference there in colors. So my main use for this is whenever I'm doing video editing or like image editing, so just so I see the right colors that are intended for me to see. And uh, whenever, this is also good if you're gonna be sending something for a print, uh, you want the other end to receive the same colors. And uh, so pretty much that's when these comes very handy because uh, your place is calibrated and if you're gonna send it for a print, they're also calibrating their printers and everything. So that way you're getting the same colors. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Also, if you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button for more videos like this. I will see you guys next time.